Hello and welcome to channel UTM under the mask. Uh -huh. um, sorry about that. Uh, this is a tutorial based um, research channel um, where I show you um, my research results, uh, show you the research in action and uh, basically the channel will show you how you can do this yourself. Um, no tricks, no frills. It's um, it's there for you to discover yourself, basically. So, um, okay, something a little bit different. Um, well, not different, um, but uh, it's cool because um, in the last few videos, I've been going into. Uh, I've been exploring the makeup of the images and um, what's going on in them um, in relation to their size and the quality and various things like that. So um, I'll explain as I'm going along. So this is a um, Apollo 10 image from 1969. Um, this originally would have been a celluloid um film like the old 35 mil cameras um so there wouldn't be any pixelation in it it's only now everything is digitized that they can um, have another muck around with it basically um so i don't entirely know where i got this from like i was explaining when you download an image give it a make sure you title it um, before you while you're saving it rather um, so you know what it is I've got hundreds of stuff and um, <clears throat> I don't know what half, half of them are so I have to go and try and search but it would take me ages um, so it will either be from this site um, this site or this site um and i'm i'm sure there are more as well um but as you can see look here's uh here's apollo 10 it might well be in there and there's um that amount of images in there um not all usable but um there we go hasselblad does anyone know where that's from are they are they german or not quite sure doesn't really anything in there um and i haven't had a look but so this might be a quick one um it might not be so this is the image in uh, question and we'll just have a quick look um reason i do this helps people um who are attempting to do this i've got a few people already which is brilliant um so it's 450 pixels um, this is our brush, so if I move that up to 450, it should fit in there. So 450, that's what that does. I don't know if that helps anyone or not, but um, there we go. So, um, these images are pretty interesting. Um, and I've been approaching them in a slightly different way. Um, because like I've explained, um, the images that are, uh, I've had a lot of work done on um, can look very confusing um, because my aim is to pull as much detail out of the images as I possibly can. And it sort of flattens the image out. So you're, you're, you're pulling a, a, a lot of, detail um out of the dark areas and you sort of destroying the, the the geology of the of the image um these as they come in like this doesn't really give you much idea so um this is the the same image with um uh some darkening and some um burn tool on it um, and I think it's been for a, some other um, 
colors and stuff in here and remember if you're working on a black and white image and you want to put some color into it you're going to have to change the mode to rgb okay right so this hasn't been in, enlarged at all um, but we can see it more clearly on on here you can see all these little squares they're the individual pixels and we can sort of, we can see the image underneath um, looking a little bit cut up and uh, looking a bit sorry for itself um, but this is what happens with um, digitizing um, and the image prior to it as well can be manipulated um, which I have been going into quite a lot and you know about what to spot and um, how to look at the images basically um, to see what's been done in pre-editing so you can see the geology a bit more here and um, if um, if you are new to this sort of thing um, it's not necessarily going to smack you in the face and you're going to go oh look there you know there's a block of flats or you know there's a multi-story car park or something like that it's, it doesn't work that way you've got to give it time and you have to get used to the images um, it's a case of just studying them and uh, letting your eyes get used to um, the poor quality you have to deal with basically it's not it's not always that case uh, but predominantly it is so I haven't blown this up um, but there are some features which um, look quite unusual it's crazy 1969 it's like brilliant I mean these images are, are amazing um, and even after you've if you're still watching um after you've uh, watched this and you you're just going it's a load of cobs wallop or, or or whatever there's a couple of channels which um i have occasional chat with um uh, ron t journalist and forestro i think something like that um and he presents these old photographs in a very interesting manner and um the same way of looking at them um, applies um, so i do suggest pausing and uh, just taking the image in um, and the the extent of the construction the infrastructure is just phenomenal uh, you, you can't get your head around it um, very worth looking at and also there's another site called uh, Lunatech and he's got um, film footage um, which has been enhanced to a certain extent um, of um, the various lunar um, orbiters um, I think they're Apollo 11 stuff um, but if you watch the surface um, on these films, um, you can see these gigantic structures, more or less plain as day. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, the crazy thing is, I think a lot of these um, films were televised as well. And uh, it, it's, uh, it's beyond belief. so you can see various things happening in here um, so like I said I do show you um, the method I use um, in these images so let's go and have a look so we'll start somewhere that looks pretty uh, And with these very small images, um, I would blow this up before I start working on it. You get more detail out of it. You're not going to get rid of these squares, but what you will do if you increase the um, 
DPI, you're going to be able to get further into the image. And then there's an element of sort of visual compressing, which makes the detail stand out a lot better when you zoom back out. So But this is a, a crater. I don't know where it is. Um, and like on a lot of these images, the, the dark areas um, are very dark. They've been darkened to an extent where uh, they're meant to hide stuff. And it's the same with the, the light stuff as well. Um, I've just put a tutorial out about how I use the the tools. Um, one thing I did forget to say about that is actually that the, the the graphics tablets that you use are pressure sensitive as well. So you can, there's a lot of that as well. So if you're on a phone, you can probably see what's going on uh, at the moment. And various areas are um, <clears throat> blurred out. And um, with the tools, um, you can, because we use um, highlights, midtones, and shadows, you individually work on those tones in the pixels, and it will condense the the blurred areas. So in theory, because you can sort of get rid of them. Let's just have a look here. It's a good example. You see that this is more crispy than this. So what I presume has been done before they have, um, because the pixels are individual, so you've got uh, one crispy one next to a, a blurred one, possibly may well have been blurred in various areas, you know, all the lightness and darkness um, uh, edited, uh, and then the image severely reduced um, and I found I had a little go at it that you probably need to do that two or three times to to really mash up the image but it's very obvious so this is what we were looking at that's not um, a geological formation um, it certainly doesn't look like it so there's tons going on in this image um, So I'll quickly do this and I'll, I'll show you two more different ones. Um, so you can see these uh, structures forming. Um, and it, to me, this is, you know, this is plain as day. I don't know if you can see it better there. We've got to understand everyone views everything differently. And these are very confusing images. So you have to get used to them. It, it's that simple, you know. Um, so there we go. So from the one they offer you, you can see this stuff clearly if you look. It's not pixelation. I've shown you the pixelation. Okay.
So, um, right, let's have a look at the, this image. Um, I used some different stuff when I was doing this, and um, <clears throat> it's just it's because uh, what I explained in the last tutorial as well is that you've got to experiment, experiment with all the tools, you've got all this stuff to play with. Um, I had a look at some of this tone mapping as well, which is quite interesting. Um, it goes on and on and on. It's not as, as extensive as um, Photoshop, but um, it's all there. Funky stuff. So. Okay, you can see I've done a reasonable amount of work on this. Uh, it didn't take a huge amount of time. Um, but we'll uh, we'll just have a look around. Oh, I always forget to do something. There you go. Oh, this work though. No, I don't know why that's not working. Is it that one? Don't know. I'm trying to get it to go to full screen. Doesn't seem to want to do it. Oh well. <clears throat> Another thing to look at. But... Right, okay. So, we'll just have a look around. And it does get more confusing the closer you get. Um, but I think it's worth starting on these images for example i did suggest using um the god which word was it Sarah, Sarah, dione maybe i think dione there's a series of photographs for dione on the nasa photo journal site and um they're excellent for for learning on <coughs> excuse me Okay, so hopefully you can see some of the detailing a little bit better now. Um, and as you will probably find with most moon images, uh, the craters are not what they seem to be. Um, they are heavily edited, but this is why we have to play with them. If you wanna, if you wanna get any. In fact, I've been doing one today, which is a very, very early photograph, and uh, it's incredible. I think it's 1962. It's a lunar orbiter image, which is uh, amazing. So there is an element of, um, and I've been saying a lot, um, perspective, and you do get perspective, but that's more or less when you see the, you can see the curvature of the moon or, or, or planet. And I looked it up and I, 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 it was on my mind, but I thought I might be using the wrong word, but it's the angle of inclination. And that's the, the orbit the orbiter takes you can look it up it's, it's quite a simple thing um, and it's just the angle from a straight point to wherever it is regardless of what orbit is taken around the uh, the planet is what gives it its angle to take the the pictures I think I'm right tell me if I'm not um, so we can see the tops of stuff and the fronts, the sides, we see we see shadows as well and um, various things. So you have to think about it like that. Most of them have um, most of the anomalies, the structures, buildings, bridges, however you would like to describe them, um, have that element. 
And if you have to, uh, just stumbled upon this site and uh, you're intrigued, then look at some of the other videos. Uh, I show, explain everything about how to do this. It's not that difficult. Um, I think it's very simple, but I have been using these sort of programs for years. But um, the fact that um, you're only using a few tools at the most um, and saving files um, it's very easy to remember so once you've done it a few times um, then you can uh, you can go mad or end up mad doing this sort of thing So yeah, I think this sort of came out quite nice. When I've got a better image, um, just show you as well. So that was the 450 original pixels. And if we go in now, you'll see there are my pixels there. That's that's how big. So that's I can't remember what it is. Um, image 8,000 so quite an increase but it's still oh it is quite, it's quite a large file there you go I talk about file size and stuff as well in relation to how your computer um, performs various things like that um, So yeah, it's clearly um, there is a uh, infrastructure going on here. I mean, you can carry on going and going with this stuff, um, enhancing it more and more and more. And all it is, is just bringing out what is in the image so you can see it more clearly. Clearly, sorry. It's as simple as that. So, I reckon these, these images are, are amazing very revealing so I don't know what this looks like on a, on a small device but to me this is a, this is getting quite quite getting quite confusing now I haven't got a, a huge screen, but um, this here, if you just concentrate on this and when I pan out That's the idea with making it larger. The more pixels we have, you'll get that visual condensing and it will start making more sense. It's different to, you know, setting something up for printing and things like that. It's a whole different, whole different game. Done that a fair few times, scaling pictures and stuff for some model making companies I work for for uh, applying um, 
stickers basically to models and stuff for, for museums and stuff like that so oh the computer being funny so when i'm about here on my computer then you can see the structure of this now very large Okay, I'll just do a bit of bigger winging around here. For the smaller devices. It's why you have to study the images and pick small bits out like these little areas. Show you that. Let's get right in there. This is why I I enlarge them anyway. Not everyone gets into the images like this, but to me, you know, if there's more stuff to be had, then let's get it. So you can see the shadows and the structures, the forms coming through, and it, this will all be part of it, but it's all broken up, cut up and stuff. Uh, I think in the last video I did, was it, uh, oh no, I haven't put that one out yet. So that's uh, a curiosity. Um, panoramic and uh, did go on longer than I see this is what you got I was talking about this in the last tutorial um, it's how the tools work anyway I won't talk about that now if you want to if you want to learn more then uh, just check the vids so you can see that now you start getting some clarity on it and it's part of a much larger construction. Personally, I don't think there's any denying that, uh, and especially with the amount of state, it's just, it's everywhere. Look at the videos and, uh, just follow the instructions basically and take your time with this stuff and once you realize what is uh, going on then uh, you well you take it from there so you can see this is part of a very large structure going on here but next to it is something else and something else and and it's it's that extensive it's it's insane so simply if 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 you're having problems you've got a computer download GIMP it's free go find this image I'm sorry I haven't got a where it exactly is but like i was talking about um dione yes dione go and get a dione image from the um uh nasa photo journal site and um, find out for yourself is it that's it You might be a little bit surprised. So look, yeah. So this will be everywhere. Okay, let's have a look at 
another image. Okay, this is more where I would be going. And you can see what I meant about how you start losing the the uh, geological features. I prefer this to this, but this image is is revealing much much more of what is actually going on on the surface and what's been covered up so when you see some of my other uh, images they uh, they're much better when you view them closer up there's more detailing there it makes more sense so we'll just have a quick zap around here. Not a rock. That's the edge of the celluloid there. I think these are celluloids. No, I'm both guys. There wasn't anything else they used. I'm not sure, but I think they were processed on the orbiters as well. If I remember, I read something about it. Might not be the case. I hadn't here if well I said at the start what I normally do is I think I've already done some so I'm not with it. Um if you are still watching this, um when I do this you're automatically going to be following the the tip of the tool. And hopefully, it just makes you concentrate. And you can see what I'm pulling out. And hopefully that will make more sense for you. So, this could be a really quick one. I don't know. Um... well be so from this to this you can see the um, see the stuff poking through
very simple. 1969. Better photo, better pictures than they produce today. And into that, I'm quite intrigued with this. I'm doing, I'm doing the 1962 picture that I found um, in this manner as well. It's sort of working, but um, it's not as well because there's so much more going on in it. It's, um, it's a little snippet of the cornucopius um, crater. Very interesting. So that will be coming up as well. I don't know when. I've got a few more vids coming as well. I'm saying this like, like I'm putting this one out today. But I might. Or tomorrow. We'll see. I've got a few. I'm stacking them up. I've got a different method of doing this. And um, it's just giving me more time to do other things apart from this because I've got tons of other things to do anyway guys I think I'll leave you with that um, I hope you got some out of it for those of you who are new and um, got some out of it of those who are not new and who are trying this and I do recommend giving it a go because it will change your um, views about everything Okay, nice one guys, as usual, um, I will see you all soon.